Mikey, one more over here, please. Mikey, move over, please. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Muevete un poquito más para el frente de él. Ahí mero. Okay, Mikey. One down here. Thank you. Okay. Mikey, one more over here. Burgos. Face off. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The 130 pound WBO title, which is at stake on Saturday night, uh, looks to be a great, great battle. Uh, we've had Juan Carlos Burgos on a number of our shows. He's a very, very exciting fighter. Always gives a great performance. And of course, uh, we have presented on innumerable occasions, Mikey Garcia, uh, and you know the kind of uh, class fighter Mikey is. So this should be a great fight. And now it's a pleasure to call to the microphone to introduce Team Burgos, a good friend of mine, uh, the head of Banner Promotions, Artie Palooka. Thanks, Bob. Um, first, I'd just like to say, Gary, I know we're good friends, but uh, I believe you're 100% wrong. I'm glad you gave us a vote of confidence in the fight. <laughs> but uh, we made the bow uh, with Bob and Mikey Garcia. And we, we were here a year ago when we had a draw with Martinez. And it's a fight that most of the fans and the reporters, and we all believe we won the fight. After the fight, talked to Bob, talked to the WBO Paco, and we were able to make this match after Mikey went up to 130. It's a great fight, like Bob said. And Juan Carlos knows what he has in front of him. He's a very good fighter. He's a formidable man. But at the end of the day, we make the match because these are world title fights and we believe we can win it. And I want to thank HBO for putting it back on. It's going to be a great show. As usual, Top Rank does a very good job in, in, with their machine putting the business out. I now want to introduce my partner, and my friend Alex Campanova to interview Juan Carlos. But I want to thank everybody for coming. Thanks for the opportunity. And uh, it's going to be a great show. Thank you. Thank you, Artie. Um, everybody has thanked everybody, but obviously this fight will not be possible without top rank HBO and the Madison Square Garden, and obviously the WBO. Um, I also will disagree with uh, my good friend Gary Shaw. <laughs> Um, this is the third opportunity for Juan Carlos Burgos to fight for a world title, and uh, the third is going to be the charm. Uh, we understand all the challenge he has in front of him. Mikey Garcia is obviously a future superstar, and everybody's talking about him for, for, for a while. But uh, styles make fights, and uh, we're very excited for him to be here today. I've never seen him so poised, so ready, and uh, so comfortable with with uh, any of his training camps. So, without further ado, I want to introduce to you the number one WBO contender from Tijuana, Mexico, Juan Carlos Burgos. Bueno, primero que nada, buenas tardes a todos. Es un placer estar aquí con, con ustedes. Um, good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure for uh, it's a pleasure to be here today with all of you. Eh, quiero darle las gracias primero que nada a Dios porque él me tiene en este camino y me ha dado esta gran oportunidad y estoy muy contento de esta oportunidad que se me ha presentado en mi carrera. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God for this wonderful opportunity that I have. Um, and uh, is this a, a great time in my career? 
también quiero darle gracias a nuestros promotores, a Arnold Thompson, eh, por esta oportunidad por la que han trabajado para conseguírmela, para pelear con un gran peleador como Mikey García. I want to thank my promoters, Banner and Thompson, for working very hard and getting me this fight against a, a great champion like Mikey Garcia. También quiero dar las gracias a Babón HBO por por la oportunidad que me están brindando de volver a pelear en Nueva York en un gran escenario como el Madison Square Garden. And I want to thank Obama and HBO for giving me the opportunity to once again be able to fight in a leg legendary uh, place like the Madison Square Garden. Bueno, quiero decirles que estoy listo, estoy preparado, trabajado duro para esta gran pelea, para esta gran oportunidad que se me ha presentado en mi carrera. I work very, very hard for this opportunity, and this is the best time of my career. He hecho una excelente preparación, la mejor de mi vida, la mejor de mi carrera, porque me voy a enfrentar a un gran peleador, a un gran campeón como Mikey García, y eso amerita haber trabajado fuerte y duro para conseguir una victoria ante él. Uh, I know of uh, my, the challenge that I have in front of me, and that's why I have prepared um, so hard. The best uh, training camp that I probably have had in my career, because uh, I know who uh, I'm fighting. Físicamente vengo en excelentes condiciones. Boxísticamente trabajé duro, trabajé fuerte, psicológicamente, anímicamente vengo en las mejores condiciones y vengo con la firme convicción y decisión de de ganar, de, de ganarle a un gran peleador, para mí va a ser un honor y un privilegio el tener en mi récord una victoria ante Mikey García. Um, I have uh, physically, mentally, uh, boxing wise, I am prepared. Um, I'm obviously here to win, and uh, it will be a great thing to have in my record that I have beaten the great Mikey García. Y bueno, les puedo decir que va a ser una excelente pelea, va a ser una muy buena pelea. He trabajado fuerte para ello, para dar lo mejor de mí el sábado 25 de enero y, y mi objetivo principal es ganarle a Mikey García y ser campeón mundial, que eso es a lo que vengo. Vengo a llevarme todo lo que está puesto sobre la mesa, que son muchas cosas. Um, I'm going to leave it all on the table. I have prepared very hard for January the 25th and uh, I didn't come here just to, to fight. I came here to win. Y bueno, por último, quiero dar las gracias tanto a Mikey García como a sus representantes por la oportunidad que me han brindado, eh, de mi parte vengo en excelentes condiciones y espero que él también para que dar una bonita pelea que sea del agrado del público y de la gente que nos ve a través de sus televisiones. Muchas gracias. I also would like to thank uh, Mike Garcia and his team for giving me this chance to fight for the world title. Uh, I know that I'm ready and I hope that he's ready because we uh, will, I'm sure, like to uh, give the fans uh, a great fight. So I hope to see you all Saturday night. Thank you. Mikey Garcia is here with his manager, uh, Cameron Duncan, Cameron. and uh, with uh, a co-manager and trainer, uh, Robert Garcia, who trains Mikey along with uh, Mikey's, their father, uh, Eduardo Garcia. So I'd like Robert to come up and uh, say a few words about Mikey's training. Robert? to everybody. It's great to be here in New York. We love New York. You know, I just want to say, you know, that, you know, it's, 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 it's great to be here. You know, Mikey won his title here a year ago, pretty much exactly a year ago, and uh, we prepare ourselves to, to, to fight and be like, like never before. Mikey, since there's been so many, so much talk about Mikey's future fights, Mikey, Mike has been training and doing things that we have never seen before. And Mikey has surprised me and my dad in training because uh, of the fact that you know there's so much talk about future fights. You know he is very prepared for for Burgos. We know Burgos is is hungry to become world champion. He is going to be better than than the Burgos that fought uh, Rocky Martinez. This is. Uh, his third and could be his final opportunity, so we got to be very aware of that. So that's the reason Mikey, Mikey's very motivated and trained very hard. Now I want to wish all the participants in the card uh, good luck. Let's go out and uh, and give the fans what they want to see. Thank you. Talking back of the room with the writers, uh, 
They were talking about Mikey Garcia being a future superstar in the sport. There have been a lot written about it. And some of them said, well, does he have the personality for it? And I said, if you mean, is he a trash talker? No, uh, because he's not a trash talker. He's a cop. Anybody trash talks to him, he's going to arrest. And besides, the people are ready for a great athlete, a great performer, who is a gentleman and saves his animosity and his violence for the ring and doesn't uh, act uh, like a thug outside the ring and doesn't flaunt and wave uh, dollar bills or flush them down the toilet, but is somebody who is a true American who really is grateful for where he is and knows that it takes hard work and for the public to really accept him, he has to demonstrate, which Mikey does, great humility. That being said, he is a terrific fighter. He's been with us for a number of years. We at Top Rank believe that he is a coming superstar in the sport. It's a pleasure for me to introduce the WBO uh, super featherweight, junior lightweight champion of the world, Mikey Garcia. Thank you everybody for coming to the press conference. I'm very happy to be back in New York. We uh, had a very good year, 2013. I started out the year here. We won my, my first world title and now I get to come back and defend my title. We had a very good training camp, um, working with my brother Robert, my dad Eduardo and Alex um, has really benefited me. I feel a lot better, you know, physically. Um, I'm in really good shape. I think uh, training camp cannot be uh, any better. I know we got from Carlos Burgos Saturday night and I expect a very good fight from him. He knows what's at stake. He's very hungry. He's very motivated. Um, he believes that the title that I hold should belong to him for what you know happened a year ago. And that's why I, I need to be in the best shape possible because I got to take on the best Juan Carlos Burgos Saturday night. I don't uh, think it's going to be an easy fight for either one of us. I'm ready to go 12 rounds if it takes uh, 12 rounds to, to beat him. Um, and I do expect him to be there for a long night because he is a, a tough, durable uh, opponent. I think he's a very dangerous opponent as well for, for all those reasons, but he also knows the kind of fighter that I am. He knows that I have great skill set. He knows that I am very, very good in the ring and I can do different things. And you know, it only makes for a better fight. Both fighters you know, are hungry to win. I'm hungry to keep my title. I want to make sure I defend my title successfully and have a great 2014. And that's why we want to start this year here in New York with a great victory, great performance, pleasing the fans, and making sure that the rest of the year is better and, and, and better fights for me. So I just want to say thank you to everybody for the attendance. Thank you, Top Rank, my manager, Cameron Duncan, everybody on HBO, everybody here putting on a great show, um, and all the media. Thanks for, for showing up. and. Uh, you know, just expect a great fight Saturday night. Thank you.